Who was the teacher that every girl at your school knew to just not be alone with? At our school, we had Mr. Cassidy. Mr. Cassidy was a science teacher, so he had one of those mirrors in the front of his classroom that he could use to do demonstrations so the whole class could see. But instead of actually using it for practical purposes, he angled it so he could look down female students' shirts. As if that's not bad enough, he went and bragged to male students about doing this. And the only discipline they had for him is removing the mirror from his classroom. He still works there and is fully employed. Who was the teacher that every girl at your school knew to just not be alone with? And I have an even better story about the actual principal at that high school. So when I was 14, I was being harassed by this guy. Um, and he, I had documented Facebook messages that I had printed out. And my mom brought them with me to the school. Um, and they said things like, um, if you don't have sex with me, um, I'm going to unalive you. Uh, or... Um, you should unalive yourself uh, for being such a prude ass bitch. It was fucking wild. But anyway, we went to the principal and he said, boys love you boys. And he let him off with a warning. And I had to be homeschooled the rest of the year. And his name was Danny Robinson and he worked at uh, Patch High School in Stuttgart, Germany. The track coach from my high school um, got a cheerleader pregnant and the principal gave him the option to resign and they wouldn't tell anyone or be fired and go to jail and he resigned and then he himself. lived himself and, the, or, and then um, the choir teacher Mr. Pascaretti would touch girls boobs and, and boodles and would give parts to those girls that let him do that even though you know it was a manipulation thing it's not their fault and we had a another gym teacher who took pictures of girls Mr. in bathing suits and he wasn't allowed to teach swim anymore instead of being fired i could go on and on and on oh i have an interesting one let's see if i can get through this in 60 seconds so when i was in high school like 10 years ago my school hired a new spanish teacher he was like hot and young and like fresh out of college himself and all of the girls like threw themselves at him and he totally like received it he was quietly let go like maybe a year later he did not last long at the school but i don't believe any criminal charges were ever pursued against him meanwhile the spanish teacher that i had I loved and I kept in touch with and I went back and visited multiple times after high school and it wasn't until maybe five or six years later that it came out that he was arrested for possession of child pornography and for committing heinous acts on a minor child who he was responsible for. He was the guardian of. And I've always just found the juxtaposition of those two different people fascinating. I'm 26 years old. I had him when I was 13 years old and I immediately knew this guy was a motherfucking creep. He was the PE teacher at Bullet Central High School and his name was Mr. Gallimore. Complete fucking creep would walk into the girls' locker room just completely unannounced right after we got done working out. And so they're very obviously changing and he fucking knew that and would never announce himself. Would constantly get caught staring at people, got to the point that guys in class started walking behind them so he wouldn't be staring. That was the teacher that everyone should have avoided and did avoid. I'm going to do one extra, though. Who was the teacher that everyone should have avoided and didn't? That one goes to my former band director, Mr. Stoltz, at the same high school. Fuck you, man. Our schools probably had a lot more than this, but these are just the ones that I've had personal experiences with or like my friends have. Our middle school gym teacher um, allegedly got fired from the high school for messing around with students and then somehow still got hired at the middle school where he continued his creepy behavior. And then I'm pretty sure our middle school art teacher got fired for having prawn on his work computer. And then our middle school principal in order to check a person's skirt length for the dress code, would have someone stand in front of him facing the opposite direction and bend at the hip to see if their skirt would still cover their butt while bent over. He doesn't work at the middle school anymore, but that's only because he's now the principal of the high school where he continues to do this to students. Mr. Lewis, Leland High School, San Jose, California, 1988-89 was my freshman year. 
That was the only year I went to that school. He was my English teacher. He would invite girls from the class, and we're talking about freshmen through seniors. So we're talking about girls anywhere between the ages of 13, 14, and 17, 18, to his house, and he would have them pose for photos. He would print those photos out, place them on a table in front of his desk in his classroom, sell prints of the photos to other students. Don't have any idea how he got away with this at the time, but I hope that he is currently burning in hell. Um, Mr. Seal? He was fucking crazy, and he would have Jolly Ranchers in his pocket, and he would, like, literally, like, take a pencil and drop it off the desk and, like, make the girls pick it up, and then they would get a Jolly Rancher after. It was like we were Pavlov's dogs or something. I remember one time I was staying after school for cheerleading practice, and, like, we had nowhere to be, and he, like, we, we all had to, like, be in his room or something, and he literally told me to get up on the table and do a little dance. What? I was like, huh? He was like, I'll give you a Jolly Rancher. I'm like, okay, if it's blue raspberry. In my high school, we had this guy that people were kind of split over. I remember him like totally being a creep. He was always going in the girls' restrooms, but like a lot of the girls that went to school with liked him a lot. This is what he looked like. His name was Mr. Vigo. And I don't feel bad sharing that because he was arrested and he pled guilty. So real quick, my chick fil is on its way. Working from home, in the road. Okay, so we had a teacher called Mr. Q. I cannot pronounce his last name. I don't remember it. But he was Mr. Q. He was my middle school substitute teacher and assistant track coach. And then... When we went to high school, he moved with us. And I believe, I believe he was also a basketball coach at that time. So, <clears throat> years go by. This guy has been in our school, blah, blah, blah. We've heard like little if ands or buts rumors. Come to find out, right after graduation, I am sitting on my best guy friend's back porch. And he lives across the street from this dude. And we're, we're. Smoking, token, just chilling. All of a sudden, I start seeing his shit. His fiance is throwing all of his shit outside. And I look over at Shay, and I'm like, Shay, what's going on? And he's like, oh, you don't know. And I'm like, no. Mind you, I've been on track my, my whole career. I, he has been my coach. He's substituted in our classes a couple of times. I've ne I never had an issue with him. I probably wasn't his type, and I would have never gone for that shit. Um, come to find out he was fucking two girls in our school. I have yet to hear anything contrary to this. So if it never happened, don't get on me, but we did not. I mean, I mean, he was fucking two girls. One was still like, I think a sophomore in high school when we graduated. And the other one was a girl that I graduated with did track with her everything. Never really, I mean, I never even heard about her having anything to do with him. But apparently, this fiancé found out that it was true, at least about the girl that had just graduated. So she was 18, so it was, I guess, free and clear. Like, why? It's not like his fiancé was, like, looking like this. She, I mean, she was a hot, hot mama. She was good looking all all perky and everything pre-children like i all the other people were just like i don't want to sit in a room with you because i don't like you it had nothing to do with inappropriateness i mean hell we even had we had some people that graduated like three or four years before us that came back to be actual teachers and didn't fuck with the kids like they were like legit like within age of the seniors I'll never understand why teachers do this. Guys, I didn't know this was like a thing that like everyone went through. Okay, Mr. Gable. I really hope I don't. Allegedly. Um, yeah, so who was yours? This world is fucked up. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I'm not going to say his name because it's not a common last name. But if you went to my middle school in Levittown, New York, you will know who I'm talking about. He taught tech, which is basically just like wood shop. Um, and I had him first period. Um, if I'd worn a v-neck even like this, 
I'd get him staring at my chest during conversation like that. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like 12 at the time. And even I'm like, sir, what are you doing? Um, and the fun part was that his wife was the guidance counselor at my school. So you couldn't complain to guidance because you'd be complaining to his wife. I don't know if he's still employed there. And I hope for every single little girl's sake that he is not. But that shit was horrible. We would all talk about it. I'd have to change after his class, like change to a t-shirt and then change out because I wasn't comfortable being in like normal clothes in his class. Um, but yeah, yay. <laughs> Our school safety officer. Okay, so first of all, I'm not dropping any names because I don't want to get in trouble on the internet. I know how these things go. He was a former Italian police officer who somehow ended up in our fucking Nowheresville, Arizona high school and became our safety officer. And he hated everybody. If you were a boy, you were a punk asshole. If you were a girl, you were an undressed slut. And that was him being nice. Nothing we did make him happy. We tried to play around with him and we'd get yelled at. If you've ever been yelled at by an Italian, it ain't fun. Now... I was not there. The rumor goes that he actually got fired from his position because of a student who came forward and said that he was sexually harassing her. Icing on the cake of that is that his wife, who also worked at the high school, also came forward and said, yeah, he is no longer the school safety officer, as far as I know. Anytime I think I want to be back in high school, I just think about him and I'm like, nah, I'm good. And who was... Oh, it was definitely the gym teacher. I can't remember his name anymore, but he wore these really dark sunglasses and we all just knew that he was looking down our shirts during gym class. Um, ironically, it was the other younger, hotter gym teacher who got arrested for child porn. subscribe. We publish new videos every day.